Hi folks, it's Dane here at Johnny Guitars, and uh, this is just going to be a really, really quick video uh, of the website I post on Guitar Attack Forum. Um, we've been talking about, uh, well, it, came, it was kind of a rabbit trail, so I don't even know what the post is called or the thread, but uh, it has to do with the, uh, the uh, SGs being neck heavy and, and sliding down on you. So. Uh, I'm going to show you that real quick, I think, there we go. So uh, if you just let it do its thing, you move a little bit, you know, it, it, they tend to want to just slide down pretty much like that. So that's the one thing about this guitar that really bugs me. This particular strap or the shirt I have on or whatever must be hanging a little more than normal, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the strap. The other thing I don't like is that you have to have a designated strap for this that's different because on a regular one, that part of the strap is on this side and you could just connect, right? If you just want to grab a strap real quick, but here you have to go and find a strap or make a strap that's backwards because it's backwards on this. I'm going to move the strap button from, I can't see the camera. All right, it is in the camera. Sorry. Let's move the strap button from there to here. You can see that that's only a couple inches of difference, but that couple inches of difference is going to make a lot of difference. Um, I'm not even sure where that fret is. Usually, your strap button is somewhere around the 16th fret. Gibsons generally connect to the body at about the 16th fret. So 13, 14, 15, 16. If this horn were to roll on around, it would kind of intersect at the 16th. But it's going to be back here farther, so uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Still going to be connecting more at the, at the 19th fret. A strat or something, a kind of more of a more standard double cutaway. Uh, the horn's hanging out here and it's almost it's almost all the way you know it's probably gonna be more like at the 15 maybe even 14 I'm just guessing but anyway so I'm gonna try putting it here and uh, this is a this is an epi SG it's the uh, satin finish uh, low dollar well 250 and uh, I really like this guitar, but um, if it were a $1,000 guitar or a $1,500 guitar, I wouldn't be doing this to it. So that may be right or wrong, I don't know. I'm going to try that and see if that helps me out. All right, I'm back. I have to admit, it was a little tricky. Um, got, got dust on it. It was a little tricky getting a drill in here because The way this horn angles down and around right back to the neck, can't see that, angles right back down to the neck here, you know. So getting in here would have been impossible with a bigger drill. And this is kind of a small drill, but I have a 90 drill, 90 degree drill. One of the, one of the few things I bought at Arbor Freight. Uh, and even that was a little big to get the right exact angle on that, but um, the way it was, let you get a, there you go, the way it was, it was coming, you know, it would have been too close to this inside edge, but that shorter one enabled me to get more into the meat. So, and then screwing it in wasn't easy either because the screwdriver wants to be right there also. All right, so, um, I've, I think it helps. I think it helps a lot. Um, one of the conversations said about guys with these that are, have the buttons in the back, they're playing them like this because they, you know, they'll stay in that position. But uh, 
yeah, that's that's pretty good. I'm looking forward to, to playing this thing now. So. Well, that was a quick one. So guys, um, if you've got a, an SG that you don't like to play because it doesn't hang right, you can convert it, but you'll need a little, you need a pretty short little drill to get in there uh, to get the right angle on that. So um, that's a, a little quick one there for you. Take care. Thank you.